Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my another video and hope you all are doing well. So it's been a quite long time. Uh, so in this video we will go and see how to install and configure uh, a VPN in uh, Kali Linux. By default it's not uh, installed yet. So we, we need to install a few of the network managing like open uh, open VPN or PPTP or IPsec VPN uh, configuration manager in Kali Linux. So the command is, uh, is already listed over here. Uh, I'll just uh, go and show you because I have already installed all of this. Uh, I'll just show you a few uh, on how it works and have already installed it. So, so I all I have already installed it. So after you install, you just restart your network uh, configuration manager. Then after you restart, uh, you can what you need to do is you can register to a security keys or any other VPN service provider uh, that works with the uh, Linux configuration. So we'll go to security uh, uh, keys, and when you go to this website, uh, you here is an uh, option to download the tunneling. So just click on this uh, option, and it will ask you for your email address. So when you enter your email address and hit the send button. Uh, it will send you an email to your uh, email address and where you uh, the email is maybe in spam folder and you can just have a look and you will get a, a client ID and password and also all of the um, link detail that you need to can visit so after you get this email address uh, you can just go to a, a client area over here and just uh, log in to this uh, uh, area or using your username and password so after you log in uh, what you need to do is you need to download the configuration file like uh, certificate and other key and other things and uh, make sure your uh, network uh, you are using a wireless or uh, you are using uh, a direct connection to uh, your watch if you are using a virtual machine then this would be probably not working uh, because it it uh, needs a direct connection uh, to connect to a VPN server I have tried using a virtual box and um, using a virtual box uh, where I was not able to connect then I just use my wireless connection over here external USB so I was able to do it so after you go to the client area then you can just go to uh, download which is giving you a 300 MB of free uh, every day for your users so you just go to Linux and in the Linux you just download this configuration uh, file uh, that is uh, <coughs> listed over here and as I have already downloaded this file I've also put my command over here in my uh, blog in my website. You can just visit this site. And what we'll do is uh, so in my document folder, I have already downloaded this, this file. And in this file, you can see uh, all of the certificate and client certificate and client key. And here is one file which is a uh, readme. You, uh, in the readme all contain all of the address and the port that you need to configure so uh, what we'll do the, uh, after downloading this file after downloading this file you need to just extract it and uh, just go to the readme the file and here you can get all of the server list and the port list for your open VPN connection so uh, Here you can also find uh, the on the if you go to tutorial in the tutorial you may get a uh, option to configure uh, in your Ubuntu. Uh, here is an option to configure. So I'll just show you a uh, detail on how to just do it. So you go to VPN connection 
and just configure uh, one any one of the VPN and just add it and in the you just select open VPN and create and just give a connection name like I want to connect to this IP address let me give uh, this IP address and in the gateway you just give this IP address and the name is this one just can give a uh, security keys mm. you can just give any name TCP uh, 443 is working in TCP 443 connection so in the uh, in the type you just type to your certificate to yourself and just browse to your uh, client uh, a client certificate and in the CA certificate you just for CA certificate and the private key you just browse your client certificate is client key and password you just can leave as default and you can also take this one and in the advanced button uh, you need to select uh, the port over here uh, is 443 and use uh, LZO data compression and if you are using TCP you can just tick this one if you are using any of the TCP port if you are UDP using a UDP port you just uh, make uh, uncheck this one so just click OK and make sure all of these th uh, things are correct and just save it okay so uh, let's connect to our VPN now so we have already three connections over here you can make uh, as many as connection over here so uh, I'll just click this one and you can see over here is uh, trying to connect if uh, the server is available and everything is uh, okay it may be connected so here it says uh, failed uh, to timeout if the server is not stable or not available so we'll try to connect to another one uh, if you go to VPN and I will try to connect to this one so here uh, we have uh, successfully made a connection so if you go to VPN connection and if you see we are already connected to uh, this uh, this connection and you can just disconnect if you want so you can also have a look for your uh, server uh, in your in, uh, the client area it will list of the all of the server that is available for you so after you make a connection then here is a list of connection that is available for you so if you go to What's my IP.com? You can see my connection has been changed to another location, country France. So that's all for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any comment, uh, you can just comment me or leave a comment over there. And if you are interested on any online courses, please visit our, our website for more detail on online courses. Thank you. Thank you for watching.